Well, thank you all for being here today. And I just uh, first want to thank our great First Lady, Marty Kemp. She's been doing a lot on her own rights <laughs> to keep our survivors safe from human trafficking with a lot of support from the members of the General Assembly uh, going after the perpetrators. And we appreciate her work and glad to have two of the first daughters here today with uh, Lucy and Amy Porter being with us. We're also proud to be standing with the men and women from the NRA, GA2A, and many other groups that are with us today. And I, I certainly want to thank all of those, all of those legislators, many of them, many of them that along with us have been pushing to get this bill across the finish line for a long time, uh, but especially Representative Ballinger and Senator Anna Vitarte for their leadership this session on this issue. I also just want to thank the members of the House and Senate, along with the leadership in getting this done this year, but also, as was mentioned, our Attorney General Chris Carr, who's been such a great fighter within, with us in making sure that our citizens are safe and that we're going after street gangs and a lot of other bad people in our state. So Chris, we appreciate you and your team for their leadership. Another great member of our team is our Insurance and Fire Safety Commissioner, John King. General John King has been a great leader for our state. He has been a great servant in the Georgia National Guard and literally has served this country around the world and here across the United States. So thank you, General King, for being here. This, as was mentioned earlier, has been a team effort. And I just appreciate all the members, all the advocacy groups who all hunkered down the last few months to get two great bills across the finish line. One of them, SB 319, named after the late great Rules Committee Chairman John Meadows, as was mentioned earlier. I had the honor of serving with John Meadows in the General Assembly and when I was Secretary of State. And that was a tough blow when we lost him. He was a good man, he was a good friend. And he did a lot of great things for our state. And we continue to build off the foundation that him and many others set for us all. You know, there is no doubt that we are living in challenging times. Across the country, we're witnessing liberal states and cities demonize law enforcement, defund police departments, undermine public safety, and threaten the security of countless American families. But we are not going to have that here in our state. Along with the members of the General Assembly who are here with us today, we have passed and I have signed legislation to prevent rogue local governments from defunding local law enforcement and cracking down on dangerous street racing. We invested in anti-gang initiatives that are taking the fight to these dangerous criminal networks and passed, as I mentioned earlier, bipartisan reforms to rid our state of human trafficking thanks to the hard work of the First Lady our girls, and the unanimous support of the Georgia General Assembly. When other, <laughs> when other local elected leaders chose inaction, my office formed the Crime Suppression Unit, comprised of state and local law enforcement partners in Metro Atlanta, that is putting wanted felons behind bars, stopping literally hundreds of DUIs, taking stolen weapons off the streets and impounding hundreds of stolen vehicles, well, dozens of stolen vehicles and impounding over a thousand vehicles that were street racing and doing other dangerous crimes. Above all, we stood up for the safety and constitutional rights of our citizens. And we have and we will always continue to back our men and women in blue. And thanks to the hard work of the General Assembly this year, we have built on that in this past legislative session. We worked together to pass enhanced penalties for those who chose to flee or elude law enforcement, strengthened tools to go after street gangs, and made yet another step in the fight against human trafficking. And that's why I'm excited to be here today to sign SB 319 and HB 218 to help build a safer, 
stronger Georgia. Here at Gables is where Marty and I bought Lucy, her first firearm, a Glock 43X 9mm. Y'all yeah. <laughs> didn't let me finish. <laughs> A Glock 43 9mm, which she is carrying today. <laughs> we did that not only because we strongly believe in the Second Amendment, but we want Lucy and both of her sisters and all Georgians to be able to rightfully defend themselves. As the parents of three daughters, there's nothing Marty and I care more about than making sure Jarrett, Lucy, and Amy Porter are safe. And with Jarrett being a recent graduate and Lucy and Amy Porter still in school, that is not as easy as it used to be in our country. SB 319 makes sure that law-abiding Georgians, law-abiding Georgians, including our daughters and your family too, can protect themselves without having to have permission from your state government. The Constitution of the United States gives us that right, not the government. And HB 218 ensures that individuals who are licensed to carry in another state are also authorized to do so here in Georgia. I have no doubt that the left will come out, come out again against us like they have before. When I stepped up to the mic, I was thinking the last time I saw this much media was when the Major League Baseball moved the All-Star game. <laughs> and they tried to... <laughs> Well, if you remember when that happened, they tried to boycott. They, they tried suing on other issues as well as this one and threaten us all into making our state look like more like New York or California. If you remember, they did it when we passed the heartbeat bill. They did it when we were the first state to reopen our economy. And they did it again when we passed the strongest elections integrity act in the country. But you know what? We didn't back down then, and we ain't backing down now. <laughs> what I am concerned with, and what the members of the General Assembly that are standing with us today are concerned with, is doing what's right for the people of our state. And that's what we have done with these pieces of legislation. This is an issue that I campaigned on in 2018 alongside so many members that are standing with us today. And by working together, we have gotten it across the finish line. And I look forward to signing SB 319 and HB 218 into law today to build a safer, stronger Georgia for all who call the Peach State home. Now let's quit delaying and let's get this done. Thank you all and God bless you.